you saw words and you got confused. So I know the formula for slope. It's y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. I can replace slope with 2 thirds. 2 is to 3 as k minus 3 is to 3 take away a negative 2. I clean up. 2 is to 3 as k minus 3 is to 5. I do something we call cross multiplication. 2 times 5 must equal 3 times k minus 3. And that's an Algebra 1 standard. That's not an Algebra 2 standard. So y'all need to get your head out of your rear end. It's not hard. Now, I guess what makes it hard is the fact that I ask you to do so much at once because that's what you've been taught. You've been taught all of this stuff. 19 thirds. Four, you have $5.40 made of pennies, dimes, and quarters. $5.40 is 540 cents. Everyone who missed this picks C. C is in dollars right now. That's $5.40. You've got to have everything in cents or nothing in cents. If C had said 0.01P plus 0.1D plus 0.25Q equals 5.4, this would have been great. But it didn't. It wasn't C. It was that one. That one, there's 54 total, and this one, because there are twice as many dimes as pennies. You have to double the pennies for equality. If you had four dimes, you'd have two pennies. You have to double the number of pennies to be equal to the number of dimes. That's what you have to do. All right, using your solve your system above, determine the correct number of pennies. So this equation right here is 1, 1, 1, 54. This equation, I did all the hard stuff for you, is 2, negative 1, 0, 0. This equation is 1, 10, 25, 540. I throw that in my TI-84. So click it on, second matrix. You can't tell me we didn't do this. We did this. The problem is, is y'all don't ever want to take the stuff home with you. Even you honors kids for the most part. You wait till the last possible minute to do anything. Most of you do. You wait till the last possible minute. That's what you do. You need to spend an hour at home for every hour in class. Welcome to Algebra 2. You think you're in trouble now? Wait. You have to study in this class or in a C. You get the resulting matrix. 1, 0, 0, 15, 0, 1, 0, 30, 0, 0, 1, 9. This says that pennies is 15. Dimes is 30, and quarters is 9. And I wanted pennies, 15 of them. All right, moving on. A cell phone plan costs $8, $18.50 and includes 3 gigabits of data. For each gigabit of data after 3 gigabits, the user pays $4.50. Determine the piecewise functionally modeling this cell phone plan. So they all have one thing in common. It's $18.50. However... That one says less than. Includes 3 gigabit. I need equality. Includes. That implies equal. Can't be C. All right. Uh, a pretty common choice is kids for kids to pick A. The problem with this is if you throw a 4 at it right here, you would double charge for the three gigabits that already were used. I hope that makes sense to you. You'd be charging somebody twice. And you can't do that. So this one's gone. This one's gone too because it doesn't even talk about the 1850. It's D. He is a setup that I've taught you to do these.
All right. I was really disappointed in the number of people who missed number six. Oh, it's plug in a freaking number. F of. F of one has to go into this equation right here because X is allowed to be one. It would be three times a one minus a one, which is two. F of seven has to go here. It would be negative 2 times a 7 minus a 12, and that is negative 26. You had a calculator. Push the F in buttons, okay? F of 6 has to go right there. See the equal? And that's the result. Negative 5. I've also been very disappointed number of kids who missed the easiest question on the test, which is this one right here. There's a value. It happens when x is 2. That's an intersection. There's an intersection. It happens when x is 3. Halfway between 2 and 4. 2, 4, middle, 3. Number 8, you're supposed to graph it on the answer document. Right 3 up 2. There's where your vertex is. Initial slope equal to negative 2. Fall 2, run 1. Fall 2, run 1. And it's a freaking parabola. Right there. Parabola. It is not a V. It is not a line. It's a parabola. How many times you got to be told that? Sorry, I'm, I'm not supposed to be negative. It's just... It's not like I didn't teach you how to do this stuff, because I did. You chose not to learn it. You chose to come up with excuses. That's what happened. Graph y equals 1 half of x minus 2 times x plus 4. This bad boy has x-intercepts at 2. I guess I'll give you the order pair. 2, 0. And look at that. Change sign. Negative 4, 0. All right, so 2, 0, and negative 4, 0. It's not A. Can't be A. They're backwards. Can't be C. If you look down there, that's negative 2, 0, 4, 0. It's got to be positive 2. Oh, it can't even be that one. You didn't have to know anything other than that. That's all you had to know was that when you leave parentheses, you change signs. That's all you had to know. Actually, it could have been this one. This one was possible, wasn't it? I don't know why I threw it away. It was possible. All right. So there was a little bit more to it. How do you find a y-intercept? You let x equal 0. So your y-intercept happens when this x is 0 and when that x is 0. Your y-intercept is going to be 1 half of 0 minus 2 times 0 plus 4. And there's a lot of you getting confused on what you do right there. I don't know what's wrong with you. 0 minus 2 is a negative 2. 0 plus 4 is 4. Negative 2 times 4 is negative 8. Half of negative 8 is negative 4. It was D. That was what it was. It crosses the y-axis at negative 4. All right. Tens were all stopped. And I'm going to go take a break before I blow my top. Because just seeing how easy this thing is and then thinking about the mistakes y'all did is just making me angry. Graph y equals 2x squared minus 4x minus 7. Again, a y-intercept is found by letting x be 0. So I go up here and I plug in a 0. 2 times a 0 squared minus 4 times a 0 add 7 is, that's right, it's a minus, is negative 7. The y-intercept's at negative 7, okay? Can't be C. The vertex is x equals opposite B over 2A. So I'm up at my equation right there. Opposite of B would be 4. Twice A would be 2 times 2. That's 1. I need a vertex at 1, where x is 1. Remember it's x? That's choice A. And I'm going to stop right there. That's where I stop. Bell rang. Lunch is over. 
I wasted my lunch.